Today, we are taking a look at the 1990 Ford Taurus SHO kit from AMT Ertl. Be a 125th scale full detail kit, and it is today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's What's in the Box. So initially, this tooling got started in 1988, the kit form, as a 1989 SHO. In 1989, this variation follows suit as a 1990 SHO kit with some new parts, which included a new set of wheels, or a different set of wheels, new wheels, new steering wheel, and I believe a lip spoiler. Then in 1990, the Robocop variation was issued, as well as the CHP slash New York State Patrol kit, and, then in and as well as the 1991 variation of the SHO, which was the last uh, of this generation. In 1993, the Rescue 911 got issued, and then in 2003, the Robocop kit got a reissue, and there has been nothing since. Let's check it out. Getting started with the body, and you see it is a multi-piece body. And take a look now at the chassis. As you can see, it has very minimal, minimal stuff molded in. The engine compartment, which has, again, minimal detail molded in. Now take a look at the bumpers, parts, tree wheels, the wheel bags, uh, the rear, front rear suspension pieces, and that glorious flash. And the wheel bags. And yeah, the rear, sus rear suspension. And the front struts. Keep in mind, this does need to be lowered a bit. It is way too high out of the box. It has a nice four wheel drive stance to it. And now we're going to take a look at the interior bucket. Which typical 90s AMT, well, I can't say typical 90s, typical annual uh, tooling style, bare minimal detailing on the door panels. Moving on now to the engine, chassis, suspension parts, trade a little bit more of everything. A couple pieces have fallen off, so we'll have to let everything see. So up here with the engine, the Yamaha engine that made this the show. Ah, oh, cool, the battery is going to die here in a moment. Let's see if we can get through this clip before it dies. There's the engine, multi-piece engine. Over here you have the exhaust pipe. Well, Two piece exhaust pipes. And here you have some the front suspension along with some more flash, a rear spoiler. So this tooling is shared pretty much between all of them, I believe, or the later ones. The 90, I think it was, or the 91, I'm not sure, because of the spoiler, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Like the inclusion of the spoiler at some point, which I think they're actually in all of them. If I, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm about to get all of them now and find out. Maybe ignore everything I've just said. And now moving on to the next part tree, which pieces have fallen off. This is more interior pieces with the hood. Yeah, we'll take a look at the dash. Here's your dash. Front passenger, the front seat. Just 
steering wheel down there. Hood. It does hood things. And you have the center console, gear shift, and the side view mirrors. Now we're going to take a look at the chrome parts tree, which also actually contains the wheels. This one has two choices for wheels. We'll start with those. So you have the three spokes on the right, which are very reminiscent, very close to the Ford Pro wheels. And the wire wheels on the left, or the right. These are a little bit updated from the 89, or from the, uh, yeah, from the 89 version. The added show for the center cap. Over here you have some of the engine pieces. You have the intake, valve covers, some of the pieces there. Um, if you, I believe the correct color to get close to it is like a titanium gold. I think that'll be a very close match to the color of the valve covers and the intake was painted. And then, of course, the headlight molded or the chrome plated headlights. Yay. I've uh, carry over from the promos and brake rotors and rear view mirror. Now we're going to take a look at the clear and transparent clear pieces first. The window unit, the window piece, which is just that a one piece, no side windows, and the molded in red transparent clear tail lights, which kind of sucks because it makes it a little difficult to do. The, than accurate, but you can't. But the headlights are molded in chrome plated, and so and whatever you can't even do those accurate either. Or now, we're gonna take a look at the tires, which are a set of Goodyear Major Eagle VR50s, which are used in a lot of the AMT kits from the early 90s. And now, we're gonna take a look at the decal sheet, which you see you have a set of license plates, a Ford Motorsport plate, an underhood decal, a bumper sticker, and that totally cool, awesome late 80s graphics style for the sides. So that is going to do it, my friends, for this look at the 1994 Taurus SHO kit from AMT Fertile. I'm sure you guys remember that. The blue printer I tried. So I hate these old style AMT construction To get, up, to get the whole thing in at the same time. And yes, if you are wondering, you can get yourself some Ford Taurus SHO color match paint. I got some right here. This is what I'm going to be doing mine in. I actually got this for the 89 Ford Fund number two. A little, uh, some useless random facts in the paint. Uh, that year, this color is only was only uh, available for the 1990 model year. Uh, each year, they added more colors to the lineup and then that color was not available in 1991 they changed the colors around kind of interesting how they did it so on that useless random fact about the paints thank you for watching